So what I'm gonna show you in this video is how to use our free ATM template pack to place an order and just doing this on an Aussie dollar trade right now. We are gonna use a futures template, which might confuse some of you. So stay tuned and we will explain it all to you in just a second. So this is just showing you how to use these ATM templates on a demo here. This is a Aussie dollar trade. I'm using a futures uh, template just to kind of show you how it works. It uses ticks. So essentially when I say use 10 ticks, it's looking at that as like one pip um, and it's using a two, uh, 20 tick target. Um, so right away when you saw the orders being placed, uh, you can see my stop and targets automatically get placed. Uh, so those are going to be done for you once you get filled. Now the ATM templates that we do have uh, split them up into two categories. One is to get you in and the other is to uh, adjust your stops and it's more of a stop strategy. So that could be taking a uh, target by locking in stops like doing trailing stops or it could be just managing your stop to break even or it might not be anything you might not choose to use one but regardless on what you do uh, I just want you to know that there's two different template packs in this ATM pack one is to get you in and the other is to uh, move or manage stops now this red zone here, this is our stop area and then it calculates a two to one, which is where our first target is, a three to one and a four to one, all those can be altered of course. Um, so what we're doing is drawing in using our position tool. Uh, if you don't have that, you can use the built-in Ninja Trader Risk vs. Award tool. The thing that the position tool does for you is it will calculate what is 1% of your account using a stop that is, has an entry point here and a stop here, for example, right? So how do you know, okay, if my stop is uh, 12 pips and my targets are there for 24 pips, what position size do I need to take to make that risking 1% to gain 2% um, or whatever that percentage you decided to be. So that's what our position tool is. It's more of like a glorified calculator that helps you with that uh, maintaining that consistency. Um, but that's just what that drawing tool is. So I leave it up on my chart and I just wait uh, and see if that two to one will eventually get hit. Of course, moving stops in is probably to your advantage. We're not going into strategy in this video. It's just, you'll, you'll see me do it and you'll probably wonder why. And I tend to move my stops in with multiple stages. Um, and then once we get a certain distance, and obviously we want to make sure our stops are at break even. Now I, I do have an article on why you should never have a stop that gives you a small target. So like a, a, a plus one, uh, for example, I mean, it's not a good idea to have, and I go into more details on that. So I'll put that in the, the description if you want to read that article too. Um, but this is something that you'll probably want to take into consideration whether or not it's right for you or not. So we're just going to let this play itself out. And uh, the next stage, of course, is going to be moving stops to break even. After that, it's going to be looking for that target. And then we'll see where it goes from there. So it looks like we're making some headway. Uh, we do have another indicator called XABCD sonar, which is gonna help us look at the frequency waves that the data that we're seeing on the chart is gonna be presenting to us. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get that loaded. Scroll down here, there we go. Okay, it takes a second to calculate, but then you can see the squiggly line there in yellow. This is what it's forecasting and uh, the pink is the previous data it's looking at. So you can see how we're kind of waving down there. It looks like we're gonna go sideways for a bit and then we're gonna see it pop back up. We'll have to see how much time that takes. It looks like uh, it, it could take um, uh, maybe the next 10 minutes or so we should see that, that pop back up again. But uh, it just pushed down, hit that target. So that's a good sign, happened a little bit sooner than I thought. Um, and now we'll just kind of wait it out to see how much further it goes, if we're going to pop back up there. I'm doing that more for curiosity um, than anything else. Uh, it, it 
totally up to you if you keep trades on your charts afterwards or not. Um, but uh, uh, that's pretty much it. If you do want this ATM template pack, you can by all means download it. It's over at xabctrading.com. And again, it's totally free for you to grab. There's uh, 10 different, I believe it's around 10, maybe slightly more, uh, ATM strategies as well as 10 or so stop strategies. And they're all meant to be adjusted. They're not they're not meant to be obviously 1% risk for someone is not going to be the same for everyone. Maybe somebody's a half a percent, maybe somebody is a bit more, but they are meant to be edited. So make sure you try them out first in a demo account, make sure they're working the way that you want them to, but they are a great starting point and you should be able to help you with that. So any questions, let me know. XABCDtrading.com if you want that ATM template pack or just Google ATM template pack XABCD and I'm sure it will come up. And we will see you guys in the next video.